Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and this is the ESV Thinline Bible in Buffalo Leather from Crossway. Okay, I'm a big fan of thin line Bibles. Ever since I was a kid, these were kind of my go-to shape and size. Here's a few of the ones that I have from uh, my childhood uh, and, and college years, ESV, a couple NIVs. Look at this one. It's like totally thrashed. I took this Bible to like camps and retreats and stuff and, and so much used out of it. And so um, I'm excited to see this new one from Crossway, the ESV Thin Line in Buffalo Leather. The, the ESV Thin Line is Crossway's uh, best-selling Bible of all time. They make it in a bunch of different bindings. And I'm not going to go over all of those bindings in this video, but I am going to talk about them in the full review of this Bible at BibleReviewBlog.com. I'll show, show you what they are and give you some links to where you can check those out. But today we're going to focus on this new one. It's the ESV Thin Line in Buffalo Leather. Let's take a look. Okay, starting with the box, really nice bright white box, clamshell style. You get all the information on the back of it. Looks pretty good. And there's the Bible. This is Buffalo Leather. They've, they've released, I think, six Bibles, six of their different editions in Buffalo Leather this year. And I can tell you that the ESV Study Bible is scheduled to come out in Buffalo Leather in 2021. You see that perimeter stitching around the side. This is brown. It's deep brown is what they call it. Really nice pebbly texture to it. There on the side, you see you get one, two, three, four raised tubs. Holy Bible, ESV, English Standard Version, and Crossway. It feels pretty good. It's It's got like a soft kind of cowhide almost texture to it, um, but still has some grain. I think it, I think it looks really sharp. Um, this is not an edge-lined Bible, so it's got the paste-down lining. That's what that is right there. And so when you have a paste-down liner, it kind of makes the cover a little bit more firm. So I think that this will soften up over time, but that's going to be the biggest difference. It's still got a Smith's own binding. That's going to be the biggest difference is that it's paste down versus edge line to some of the more expensive versions of this Bible. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to go into the different versions, but I have a couple that I want to show you. The, the next level up from this is Crossway's top grain leather. This is the, um, the uh, smaller, what's this Bible called again? The large print compact. Um, but this is the top grain, and you see it is edge line where the, the the cover is lined in there versus being paced down. So it's a lot floppier. It's, it's, I'd say they're kind of similar. There's a little bit more grain, thicker pebble going on, but the, they're very similar. Um, it seems like they were kind of trying to do a little bit more affordable option of this by doing this guy with the stitching and stuff. It looks really great. And then you go to their goatskin Bibles, super floppy, again, edge lined, nice liner. That's the, um, single column personal size that I reviewed earlier this year. So you can see the difference between those two. So it seems to me like the Buffalo are kind of the option that Crossway is getting into that are um, between the genuine leather and the true tone stuff that's a little less expensive and then the more expensive Bibles. So I like it, it looks great. It seems like a good middle of the road option. As far as size goes, this Bible is um, five and three eighths inches wide and eight and three eighths inches tall, and it's right at an inch thick. So it's nice, it fits in the hand really well, it's super thin, it's it's a really, really great Bible. You get some touches like the, the art gilding on the pages, that gold there, it's got a single rib ribbon. So it's streamlined, but still very nice from the outside. Now let's take a look at what we have on the inside, opening this up. It is, like I said, a little bit stiffer, but I think it'll open up over time, it'll, it'll It'll wear in a little bit nicely. Presentation pages up front, the Holy Bible. And then you see here's the title page. There you have the Thin Line Edition, 2016 text, printed in China. The, the paper on this Bible, I'm not sure, there's the preface. The paper on this Bible, I'm not sure exactly what the thickness is. They don't say, I've seen a couple people say it's about 30 GSM. Um, it's actually really, really nice. I like it. It's, it's got a bright whiteness to it, and the words really pop off the page. You see here at Genesis, it's not going to stay open, but I think if you kind of push it and play with it a little bit and work this Bible in, it's going to be just fine. Um, kind of open it up here. There's the, the look on the page. Streamlined, two-column text. It's got an eight-point font. 
it's it's easy to read. It's not line matched, but again, the paper is is nice enough that I'm not distracted by the text on the other side of the page, and this is really comfortable for me to read. And again, it's thin line. You're trying to go small on this. You're trying to have it be, you can carry it around with you. So it's it's really giving you a lot for how small it is. You notice there are no cross references on this page. You get the textual notes down here, but this Bible does not include cross references. That's something that you kind of take out when you're going for the thin line option. There you see what it looks like in the Psalms. Really great. Let me just pull this up. So you can see it's not super line matched everywhere. Let's get into some paragraph text. But it's really not distracting. The print looks really good on the page. Very comfortable to read. When we get into the New Testament, you can see it is a red letter text edition. Thin line is. I think I think all of them are. I could be wrong about the the goatskin edition, the heirloom edition. Red line, red letter text and and for words of Christ in the New Testament. Um, yeah, just a, a really solid, small, on the go Bible. Like, but you could also put this at your desk and, and use it every day too. It's it's really good. This Bible um doesn't have cross references, but you do get at the end of the Bible your typical table of weights and measures, and then the full ESV concordance, which is nice. So as far as studying with this Bible goes and doing some, some deeper dives, you have the concordance. And then at the very, very end, you get kind of a thicker, glossier cardstock for your Bible maps. I love that one. Jerusalem in the time of Jesus. This has a really nice texture on the inside, too. Very, very thoughtful Bible. Bottom line, this, this one looks good. It's not going to break the bank. If you're looking for a streamlined, thin-line Bible, that's kind of a step up from some of the True Tone Genuine Leather stuff, but not getting into the more expensive um, Top Grain Leather or Goatskin Editions, this Bible is really, really solid. So there you have it. It's the ESV Thin Line Bible in buffalo leather. If you like what you see, I'll put some links in the description so you can see more about this Bible and uh, find out where you can buy it. You can always visit BibleReviewBlog.com where I've got a full write-up of the ESV Thin Line in buffalo leather as well as some great photos. And while you're here, would you click that like button, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. That would be awesome. It helps me reach more people with Bible Review Blog. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <music>